What's up you guys? It's Candice. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. So this is going to be the first segment. This is going to be called We Talk. So um, first of all before I get started with this video let me just say this video is not to bash or to talk about anyone or to be negative like it's not that but I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys so on Instagram um, if you follow me on Instagram I put up a poll a couple of days ago basically having you guys um, vote on a story time and you guys voted on my first long-distance relationship <laughs> I cannot even believe I'm talking about this right now but I mean to be honest you guys like Ever since I had a YouTube channel, I've always wanted to talk about this experience, but I just never had like the guts because literally you guys, it's so, so first of all, let me just say this. I am not going to say any names, like nobody is going to be name dropped. Ain't nobody getting clout off of me. Okay. Like I am not about to say nobody name. I'm probably won't even name the state like <laughs> I'm about to keep this super 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 like wizard Kelly like if you know me then you know all about this story but I mean this happened over five years ago when I was like a teenager so I mean I had an Instagram around that time so I mean if you're new to my social media then you guys would not even know who this person is so don't be trying to piece together stuff because y'all not gonna know this happened literally I think before Instagram was like even popping um but we did have like pictures together and stuff so if you have followed me since Instagram first even made its uh, debut then you guys may know <clears throat> so anyways I'm gonna try to keep this short but uh, you guys so first of all um this story takes place um in 2012 so this is over a course of like three years so 2012 um three or two years whatever um right when I graduated from high school so I graduated from high school um 2012 June of 2012 and literally guys right after high school um like a lot of my friends were going off to like big universities and stuff like that but I decided to go to a community college here in Los Angeles so um my first class started in August of 2012 so um I was super stoked like I was excited because my best friend was going to the same college as me and you know I was happy to be like you know starting college so and I was single I didn't have a boyfriend at the time like I was 18 like I was super excited to be in college or whatever so mind you guys instagram had got popping maybe earlier that year but if you remember instagram was only for iphone it wasn't for android and i had an android like my mama was not buying me no iphone y'all like she was like nah like you know so i would like have to log into um instagram on my best friend's phone or whatever so super super childish whatever so she made me an instagram which is <laughs> the instagram that i have now you guys like i've had the same instagram since instagram I'm like started like it's the same account and everything um but I deleted like all my pictures and stuff so y'all can't even go back and look at like old pictures like you guys will never be able well let me not say never because the internet is undefeated but anyways so um yeah so I had an Instagram and I would get on my Instagram via my best friend's phone because she had an iPhone I had a um Android so fast forward we were starting school whatever and um I'm like logging into her Instagram from mine. So, I mean, from her phone. So, I will log on to my Instagram on her phone, whatever. So, um, yeah, Instagram was like the thing. Like, if you didn't have Instagram, you wasn't popping. Like, it was it was just the thing. So, just like Facebook and MySpace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, <laughs> this one day I got on Instagram and there was this guy who I <clears throat> had seen around like my previous like years like back like in high school because he went to the same school as my best friend in high school did well my best friend in middle school so my best friend in middle school like we were really really close but then when we got to high school we went to two separate high schools so we were still really good friends but we weren't best friends because I met my current best friend now in high school and we got closer but he went to that same school as her but he was much older than all of us like he 
I think was like a senior when we were like freshmen or sophomores. So he was much older. So I would see him sometimes because I would still go to my old best friends like football games and, you know, pep rallies and stuff. Because I went to a school that didn't really have like nothing really going on. Like <laughs> it didn't. And again, I am not going to name drop y'all because... Mm. So, anyways, um, so yeah, he went to this school, and, um, I had, like, seen him around or whatever, but nothing, like, nothing, it wasn't nothing, like, I just, I would see him around, like, that was it, like, I've seen him. So, somehow, some way, um, we connected on Instagram, and we were following each other, and this had to be around the time where Instagram switched over to being used for Android and iPhone. So I was still able to like get on or whatever. So at that time I was able to get onto Instagram myself. So basically he was like liking my pictures, double tap, double tap. And I was liking his pictures, double tap, double tap. And this is before I think they even had the following tab. So you couldn't see me being thirsty. Like you wouldn't know. Like <laughs> so basically um so we were liking each other's pictures and then he and this is again before there was even instagram dm you guys like this is when you had to write on someone's picture and then when they would see it you would have to delete it or else like someone could see it so he wrote his number on my picture and it was like one of my very first pictures like he went to like the very very like bottom like and put his number and then when i got his number like he deleted he i don't think he ever deleted the i think he deleted his number but never deleted the comment that he wanted my number but whatever so um we were texting or whatever and i knew that obviously like he had lived in la but i didn't know much about him because again he went to a whole different school for me and he was older so I'm like okay like I've seen him around but I don't know much about him so we were talking and you know texting and we were texting every single day you guys like this is my first real relationship like <laughs> so we were talking on the phone we would text every day and this is when he told me that he had went to a different college in a whole nother state and I was like wow like I thought you lived here like you know but again like we literally it was so genuine like we started off just getting to know each other and I know like to most people like wow you didn't even know where like he was living at the time but like no like it was us getting to know each other and then when it got to the point of you know us hanging out and being around each other which it wasn't that widespread it wasn't like I was talking to him for like six months then I found out he lived in a different state it was like no like a couple weeks and then he was like yeah like I'm going to I went to a different school whatever because mind you guys he was older than us so he had already graduated so he told me that he went to another school and it was in a different state and I was like okay like you know whatever like I'm young I'm 18 I'm like whatever like I I'm optimistic like now like you know of course you have reservations about certain things but to me I'm like whatever like he lived in a different state whatever like you know I like him and I really did you guys like I guess you could say this was like my first love like literally we talked 24 7 like seven days a week calling texting like we was on the time schedule it got to the point where my best friend was just like girl like I just I would talk to him all the time like before my class because there was a time difference where he was again I'm not gonna say the name of the state or the person because I don't need nobody trying to connect any dots this is strictly for kicks for fun okay so yeah he was on a different time schedule than I was so um well time zone so he would call me before class like just super just like what 18 year olds want like well at least what I wanted like someone who like actually cared and wanted to know what I was doing and be around me etc 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 so um yeah so basically like we like made it official that we were together and we would like post each other on our social media accounts and stuff like that and like a lot of people that went to his high school that I knew because people just knew me I might even say like I was popular but people just knew me or they would find me through him they were like oh you date so-and-so like it was just you know whatever so everything was good like everything was perfect like y'all I thought I was gonna marry this man like legit marry like I was in love like it was nobody but him like <laughs> you would ask me if you were to ask me at that time who I would be with at this time oh we would have children we'd be married like we probably be living in that state like I was so in love with him like he did everything that like 
it was just it was just beautiful like we were just in love so um or so i thought so the very first instance that made me kind of like i guess break my heart but at the same time it was a red flag it was a time where he we were we were dating or whatever and again we both had Android so I guess he had sent like a group text or accidentally sent a group text and he sent it to me and another woman who at the time he was dating who lived in the same state that he did so when she responded the text came to me and not to him and so I think he had sent us a picture of like an outfit or something and she responded back oh that's cute babe so to me I'm like huh like why would you send me a picture of something you have on and they say oh that's cute so me I'm like bam like nah like you're cheating you're whatever so I text the number back and I'm like who is this and she's like we're gonna call this guy um Ken we're gonna call him Ken so she's like I'm Ken's girlfriend and I'm like I'm Ken's girlfriend so it's like this big thing like I called him and I'm like I'm done with you I hate you like I knew you were just like the rest like it was crazy my best friend was in the car with me I was in my first car y'all my little Ford Focus girl I almost crashed it it was crazy so um we got into like this big ordeal the next day we was back together like it wasn't nothing like we was back together and he was probably still dealing with her like whatever so we were back so then it came to the time for us to like you know actually I'm not like meet and be together like in a relationship like actually physically be with each other while we were in a relationship so I um ended up I ended up getting to that state and um my best friend was with me and we went to go we went to go visit him and so the first time like we hung out like it just it felt like this is a person that like I've been in a relationship with for years like it just felt like so natural so normal like it was just so just you know it was just organic or whatever and it was just beautiful like it made me fall like even more like in love with him like I know this sounds mad corny y'all but it is so true so everything was cool everything was good and a lot of other large events took place but i'm not gonna talk about that because i just feel like me talking about that is getting too too deep more deep than i want to get when it comes to this story again this is just for kicks this is not to out nobody or you know talk bad about anybody and i know a lot of people especially on youtube the audience you guys look for those like you know tea times or whatever but this is literally like me sharing my story for you guys to really get to know me and know where i come from and what i've been through but it is definitely not for me to make third parties feel number one relevant and then number two like you know I'm not trying to out nobody like that's not the purpose so yeah so a lot of large events took place after that um I ended up I, I basically ended up moving to the to the state y'all like I moved to the state he was at like whatever like I'm out like by LA like I'm out but yeah a lot of other things took place so um so yeah like everything was cool something happened and basically like I ended up having I ended up having to move to my to mi to Michigan like I had to move back to Michigan not even to LA like I ended up having to move back to Michigan and I moved in with my father because my dad left LA when I graduated high school or whatever so I was in Michigan or whatever we were still like trying to make it work like we were still you know trying to be together and we were still like good like after the first incident with the girl like it was like see none here none like I have forgot I didn't forget about it but at the same time like when someone is doing everything that you want them to do and they are just like you know calling you texting you sending you pictures blah, blah, blah. and my mind I'm like okay well there is no opportunity or space for another woman but at the same time thinking about it now it's like well duh girl because he had time for a girl last time like ain't nothing changed like he just got time like whatever so um but again I'm 18 I'm or 19 at the time so I'm like whatever like we're together we're gonna be together I'm gonna move back down there we're gonna get a house we're gonna have kids this is just it this is my this is my man like this is it so of course like my family thought I was crazy my best friend was like girl you're tripping and whatever so 
everything was all good. I ended up moving back to LA from Michigan and just restarting my life over like leaving right after college to move there and then to move to Michigan like I just needed to restart my life so I came back like fresh clean slate like I had nothing like I had shipped my car away and my car was still away so I had no car I had no job I was with my grandparents like I had nothing like nothing like pockets was broke like I was I had nothing so um basically I started over and again we were still together y'all like we were still together so um he had ended up coming to LA because he um something happened I think he had like a funeral or something to go to and he ended up coming to LA and then that's when he was like meeting my family and like my niece and stuff like in my mind y'all everything is on track I'm like this is my man we are together this is bae like what are you talking about like this is me and him me and you like where are you going nowhere where am I going nowhere like this is my man where's the ring I was looking I was listening to Jagged Edge every single day like you feel me <laughs> wifey you feel me happily ever after case like I was I was in love like this is my man so he had came to LA or whatever met the family I met his da, 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 da. it was cool so fast forward this is where it gets really juicy this is when the berries start to crack and this is when I lost my marbles and this is when I literally was residing in the heartbreak hotel for months like months I, I hate to talk about it but whatever so y'all literally it was Christmas and um we had decided that I was gonna spend Christmas with him and his state so I'm like okay cool like you feel me I'm I'm getting popping like I'm getting my like lingerie together like you know I'm getting his Christmas gifts together I'm out shopping you know it was really exciting for me because this is like my first boyfriend so this is my first holiday with a man like I'm just girl I'm on cloud nine like I'm packing every day unpacking packing unpacking packing every day like being in a long distance relationship y'all like it has its downs but it has its ups because you haven't seen this person in months so of course you're excited so I'm packing every day unpacking buying shit online so about this time y'all I have I was working I was back in school so I had some money you feel me I was back on like by the grace of God like you know I never stay down too long but <clears throat> I was on like I was you feel me ready to go see my man whatever um so we had set up like the arrangements like for my flight like he had set up that he set up how I was going to get there to his house and everything like that. Like everything was in order. Like he took care of all that. All I had to do was show up. You feel me? Like daddy, I'm here. Was good. <laughs> so yeah, it was cool. So I get there and everything is just amazing. Like it's the holidays. The Christmas tree is up. We like rented a car. Well, his mother had rented us a car so that we could like, you know, get around and be around each other and, you know, sightsee, whatever. Like it was cool. Like mommy, mommy and law were together. This is my man, this is his family. Like I was, <laughs> this is the life for me. So <laughs> we get there, I get there and like literally like walk in the door and like we just, well, you guys can fill in the blanks. So it was super cool. It was magical. It was amazing. Whatever. So um, everything was Gucci, you feel me? But, you know, <sighs> some things started to happen that made me question, like, everything. And it was just crazy. Like, <laughs> so first of all, Christmas Day approaches. And we had, like, slept in, like, because I got there the day before Christmas. So we slept in or whatever, woke up, like, you know, just lovey-dovey. And his mom did not let us sleep. When I first got there, she didn't let us sleep in the same bed. Like, she had him sleep, like, in, like, an, another, in a guest room. And then I slept in his bed in his room. Like, she's super old school. So she did not, like, mind you, I, you guys, I love his mom. His mom, I, to this day, like, I love her. Like, I love his mom. I haven't talked to her in, like, so long. But, like, his mom was just amazing. So, anyways, we slept in separate, you know, rooms. But then when she went to go to work or do something, like, she knew what was up like you know morning time he came upstairs why why bang bang boom 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 just like that you feel me it wasn't nothing I was ready so um yeah like 
we woke up we exchanged gifts like he gave me like this beautiful 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 necklace that i don't know where is that and some earrings i don't know where any of it's at but and not because the shade i really just don't know because obviously you guys i moved so many times like i don't know so he gave me my gifts i gave him his gifts whatever everything was cool so um we get like a knock at the door and i was in a bed because it's not my house like i'm not about to you know honey i'm home open the door it was good like nah so we get a knock at the door and um there was like someone had delivered some baked goods to his house and i just thought it was like the sweetest thing ever like apple pies you know sweets everything was just you know i'm like wow like a lot of hospitality here like you guys are fucking great like you know so everything was cool so then fast forward my job I'm, I'm out there for like weeks y'all like i'm out there so fast forward um he had went back to work because this is after the holiday and you know i'm at the house chilling like you know i'm i'm watching you know food network trying to figure out what i'm gonna cook for my man because it's my man i love you we're together you know so i'm just trying to i'm in love like so you know i'm going to target i'm looking at different you know pieces to wear for each night you know i'm getting ready for new year's because i stayed out there for new year's too so um he had a phone that was like broken and when i mean like broken like it was something where you had to like put the battery in it was something where you had to like put the battery in for it to work or something it was just one of those like trap defective phones or whatever but mind you i was there and i was like picking him up or whatever like taking him to work and picking him up from work because i was visiting so i knew what time he was on and off so and he knew i was there so he really didn't need his phone whatever so i'm like okay cool take him to work bam he at work i think his mom was running errands so i'm at the house with myself chilling whatever so i don't know what inkling and my mind was like, put the battery in the phone, Candace. I'm like, what? Why would I need to do that? Like, I trust my man. I love my man. We're together. So I'm like, okay, I'll put the battery in the phone. You know, I'm sitting there still watching my, you know, Reader's Digest, Food Network, you know, whatever's on. Like, I'm, you know, whatever. Like, he ain't, you feel me? What? I'm so silly for even doing this. Like, whatever. So the phone powers up. <laughs> And I look at the messages, and this is an unsaved number, but it had paragraphs, like, from both ends, like, paragraphs from this person and paragraphs from him. So I'm reading it, and I literally read, like, the last three messages, and when I tell you guys my heart sunk from wherever your heart is at to literally hell like my heart went from here all the way to the bottom of the world and the messages read something like um i i should have been spending the holiday with you she's here you you keep on breaking my heart basically a, a, a woman scorned who obviously didn't want me to be where i was with him so my first instinct was to get his phone pack up my things and literally get in the car and I drove to and I think at the time I was babysitting his I don't know I, I don't remember y'all but anyways I know that I got to his job so I get to his job and y'all like I literally looked at him and I was like you know what like I'm leaving where I was going I don't know because I'm in a whole nother state but I'm like I'm out like I'm, I'm crying like it's literally like tears like tears like I'm like I'm out and he's standing there with like his you know work uniform on so I guess he tell his boss like somebody died in the family because he knew and he literally was like come on let's go so we get in the car and I'm like going off I'm like how could you number this is number two you you cheated on me I can't believe you I came all the way down here like i'm going off like i'm rowdy rowdy about it about it like f you i'm going home give me my flight i'm getting my flight i'm about to pack my stuff da, 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 da. so girl like literally the whole time i'm crying like my heart like and it's funny now but at the time y'all my heart literally was just so so broken like i have never felt this way in my life so um we get back to the house or whatever like 
you know, he give me something to eat, you feel me? Like, bitch, <laughs> chill out. So I'm still like heartbroken. And I can just remember this one like instance. We pulled up at the house, he went in the house to get something. And this is like the second day or whatever since I had like found out he was cheating on me or whatever. He walked out the house and I had my face against the window like off of um, Baby Boy when she was like, he don't love me no more. And it was like tears rolling down my eyes. So dramatic, like whatever. And so he's just like, nah, it's nothing like that, babe. Like I forgot what lame ass excuse he told me, but I believe it. I'm like, nah, like you feel me? But why? Like I was still going through it. So I didn't tell nobody nothing, y'all. And you guys know how close me and my best friend friend are like literally I didn't tell my best friend anything she didn't know nothing nobody knew nothing because it was embarrassing for me to go all the way to where you are to visit you to be with you and then here we are number two or so I thought it was number two could have been more so long story short I found out he was cheating on me whatever and I was like you know what like I'm done like I can't do this like I need to leave and he had drove me to like it was like one o'clock in the morning. No, it was like 10, 10 p.m. It was about to be New Year's. And this was like weeks after this had happened. I'm still out there. Um, so he drives me to like this like deserted, this pitch black. There's like a some type of water. Like it's just whatever. Like it was really creepy. Like and so he was just like, you know what, Candace, like I don't want to lose you. He was like, so in order for me to not to lose you, like, you know, let's get married. <laughs> And I was like, wait, what? And he was like, I can see that you're hurt and I can see that you're fed up. And I know that if you go back home to California, like you're going to leave me. So let's get married. So I'm like, okay, like, <laughs> y'all, I'm 19 at war. <sighs> so I'm like, okay that's fine so i'm not even gonna talk about that because uh, we, that's a whole nother video so fast forward we end up getting back to the house or whatever it's new year's you know we basically like celebrate new year's together he just knew what to tell me to get me to like be back with him he knew that that's what i wanted i wanted kids i wanted marriage da, 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 da. so he was like this is like my last like you know chance to like make it right so you know whatever so moving forward i ended up coming back home or whatever and we were still together you guys so keep in mind all this had taken place and i was we were still in a relationship i was still very very like heartbroken and sad but at the same time like i knew that like i was not leaving like i knew that we were going to be together and i just knew that this was just a time in our life you know whatever so i got back home and you know i was still like depressed like i would talk to my grandma about it and it was just so like i was just so depressed so sad so this is when things started to take a turn for the worse. so the girl i ended up finding out that they work together so she had literally been in the picture the entire time so rewind mind you guys i tell you i find out i go to his job she's standing right there i didn't know i had no idea like she worked with him i think she's the one that had delivered the pies like literally she had been there the entire time you guys so she started posting pictures and you know basically like tagging me and stuff like she had made like a fake profile and pretended to be a guy to try to talk to me to try to basically send to him to say oh look she's cheating on you like a lot of things took place and it was very like number one it was scary number two it was annoying number three like it was just me having to explain to like all my friends and my family because she was literally like following them like on Twitter on Instagram on Facebook like literally so her and my best friend had a conversation and on her real account and they had a conversation and so basically she said like um you know we've been together he's lying to her he's just stringing her along da -da -da -da. she makes some blimbles about me it was just this whole big old fiasco to the point where one night like I literally pray to God you guys and this is like how strong like my relationship is like I said if this man is not for me I want you to remove him out of my life literally the next day you guys he broke up with me like he broke up with me like he was tired of like my shit like I literally was like 
I would look at her page and see that she posted something and then we would argue. We were arguing every single day when I came back from Christmas or whatever. So he ended up breaking up with me and I was devastated because I knew he had never broken up with me before. We had never even broken up. Like even when the first instance happened with the other girl, like, and those are two separate women, y'all. But literally that first instance, like we never broke up. So I knew that when he broke up with me, we were done. So um, literally um, the next... So, okay, so yeah, so moving forward, we were broken up. We had been broken up for weeks. We had broke up around the time of our birthdays because our birthdays are not that far apart. And um, then, like, I don't know how I found out that they, like, became in a relationship, but they actually, like, got in a relationship. Like, he was posting pictures of her. She was posting, like, pictures of him. Like, they were in a relationship. And so, yeah, like, they just ended up, like, being together. Like, they just ended up you know being in a full-blown like relationship or whatever and I was stuck holding my heart like in my hand like and by this time I think I was 20 I had turned 20 so yeah you guys my first long distance relationship was just it was an experience because like I said that was my first love I don't have anything bad to say about him or his um girlfriend like I don't have anything bad to say about them at the time I was young like of course at the time like I was beefing but like you know now they've moved on with their life they have children like I don't have anything bad to say about them or him like or you know his family whatever like we I, I, at the time like I was young he was young. we were all young so I don't really have I don't harbor like bad feelings or anything for him but of course moving forward if I was to ever be in like another relationship like period like you know, I definitely took back and learned that, you know, you got to keep your eyes open. You got to actually, you know, if there's a red flag, you can't just look past it and just think that, you know, it's a red flag for a reason. Like things happen for a reason. Like, you know, you have to be smart about things. And then at the same time, how realistic can one person living in one state and one person living in another state be? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, as a young man, a young woman, like... You know things happen like i said at the time <laughs> devastated like and you guys like literally for months like i cannot eat i cannot sleep like and i freaking love chipotle like love chipotle i couldn't even finish my chipotle y'all like i was losing so much weight and it wasn't like a good like yeah i'm working out da, da, da. it was like nah like I can't eat, I can't sleep, like, we're not together, whatever. But yeah, I was devastated when I found out, like, he had really moved on. It was, like, really for real done with me. And, like, he had moved on with her. I was floored. I was done. But, yeah, you guys. So, that's pretty much it. I'll probably make this video, like, into two parts. But, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about posting it because... I just don't want anyone to be like offended but like whatever it's my channel like at the end of the day like you know it's my platform to talk about certain things someone else could have been in that same situation and this could have helped them this could have been a laugh this could have been whatever but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and I'll, i think the next video or that's gonna go before this one is a challenge with me and donovan so go ahead and check that out like i said it'll either be before this video or after but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all you guys and all your support and thank you shout out to all my new subbies my candies i love you guys so so much thank you for your positive comments thank you for the dms thank you for everything like i love y'all so thank you so much for watching bye